Hi, I'm Steve Gleason. I'm here in uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. I, uh, I played here for the New Orleans Saints for eight years. Like him, I was diagnosed with ALS. Uh, I was diagnosed in January 2011. We have um, also like the off and awesome team. I've been fortunate enough to have an incredible support group and uh, amazing family that has uh, inspired me like um, Tim and off an awesome group have helped uh, inspire me. Well, I believe that Off and Awesome didn't die with Tim and, and you know, we made a promise to him to, to continue to raise awareness and, and the way to do that is to, to continue with the momentum that we had in the community that was the, the support and the out, uh, outpouring of, of love and, and care was just tremendous and so to see that uh, go to the sideline would be a disservice and a dishonor to Tim and other folks with ALS. I mean, you know, plenty of people out there are, are dealing with this disease every single day, directly and indirectly, and, and we know how horrible it is. One of the hardest things we had when um, Tim first passed away was trying to figure out how we took Often Awesome and turned it into something more. He said, probably one of the hardest things was when he said that he would be worth more to this movement dead than he was alive. And knowing that we needed to find a way to help others in a way that we helped him. Our goal is to do what we can to, uh, to support <clears throat> uh, patients and those affected by ALS, to do what we can to, to make it easier on them. I mean, I know that uh, it, that's kind of hard to say because it's so, such a uh, difficult disease, but we can, we can do things to uh, help ease the process and things that we learned and things that uh, helped make Tim's life better because we had such a great community that we can share those things with others and help them uh, get through this disease in a way that's uh, a little less difficult than it would be if they were doing it on their own. And we figure that the sort of the big pieces we're looking for are awareness. Um, Tim touched a demographic, I think, that really hadn't been touched by ALS before, made them care. Um, the website, we really want to turn into sort of a central hub of information for people, as well as having a link on there, um, a manual of sorts for all of the things that people did for Tim so that other people don't feel so lost when they start going through this process. And then looking just to help with other ALS organizations, um, as far as like today with the walk, um, being able to donate any excess funds we have to help those groups get supplies and other things directly to patients or help look towards a cure. We still plan on doing many events that we did in the past as far as tattoo benefits, benefit shows with bands that are interested in raising ALS awareness, dance parties, art auctions, uh, and also some new and creative events that we may not have attempted before in the spirit of Tim and just keep it fresh and not remain stagnant. I still try and be a part of Often Awesome and um, whatever way I can right now. It's really hard still for me to um, jump into that head first. So I just try and go to all the events that I can and support everybody and support the cause and further the cause. Uh, we strongly encourage those who are affected by ALS to reach out to us uh, at oftenawesome.org and, and get in touch and 
if they have any questions or uh, just want to know more about the organization or, or what we can do to help them to, to reach out and we'll do the best we can to, to point them in the right direction. The concept of everybody coming together, I thought, was really what keeps me in the ALS field in the first place, is watching people come together, roll up their sleeves, and fight this disease together. It's, it's the best of what makes people human, in my opinion. But when I saw that episode about Tim's tattoo, it sort of prompted me to look up the whole idea of a swallow tattoo and what, what it meant from a symbol standpoint. And it's one of the oldest tattoos. Sailors used to get swallows tattooed on their body because the swallow was supposed to be the first bird that you would see when land was approaching. And so for sailors, it meant, you know, that they weren't lost at sea, that they had hope, that home was near. And so I got the swallow tattoo, and particularly on my left hand. And so I'm left-handed, and so um, I always have to sign a chart or write a prescription at the end of every visit with every patient. And so when I go to do that, it's just in the right spot where it pops out from my sleeve. And when I write the prescription, I look down and I'm reminded immediately, yeah, this is a person in front of me. It's not just a disease. They got a whole group of people behind them that are gonna to try to fight this together. And um, I've got to stay hopeful and I've got to say something hopeful to every person. When you are diagnosed with ALS, it is hopeless. And you know that from the beginning. Um, you wanna hope that it will be a slow track, um, but it's not always the case. But the big thing that I learned through the whole process was that Hope is the only thing that gets you through the day. Um, you become hopelessly hopeful. And you never stop fighting because why would you? How could you? It's the only way that you wake up every morning and continue to walk out the door and continue to fight so that nobody has to experience that disease anymore. I mean, that's exactly the attitude that we need to have in ALS. We need to all stay hopeful because there's a lot of scientists working really hard on this disease every day and we are making progress. I don't think I could stay in the disease if, if we weren't. I see the progress, I go to meetings you know, every few months and I see the progress and I, I really believe that we're getting close to being able to do a lot more for patients with ALS than we ever have been. And I do believe that in my lifetime we'll have a cure for this disease. I really do believe that. Why I think the documentation of Tim's life is so important is because I believe that although the medical world talks a lot about research and uh, people talk about technology, I really believe that those um, aspects of finding a cure will not see a um, rapid advancement until the world, the public, fully understands on an intimate level what ALS is. You think about all of these people that go through this illness with no help and no army and just their own will and their own fight. Um, so it's, it became the most important because I realized it wasn't just about Tim and it wasn't just about Tim and I or Tim, I and the army. It was, it was for everyone. Um, to remind people that there is help when you ask, um, to give a voice to people that literally don't have one and that will never get it back, and to give a voice to the people that care for them, that have in the past, that fought tooth and nail for the people they love just like we did, because we were no different. We just happened to have a camera crew um, and some willing participants. But I just think that <laughs> it was the most important to give a face to the disease 
um, and to, I guess, strengthen and broaden the solidarity for everyone that's ever experienced this in the past, the present, and that will one day go through it. Uh, we have an organization, um, I think, uh, similar to the Off and Awesome guys, uh, called Team Gleason. And uh, so our goal is to raise awareness on a global scale for ALS and to help provide and develop technology for the ALS patients. So I'm grateful to Tim um, for his life and to Tim's family um, and friends for, um, for helping him uh, light and hold and pass that torch. So, um, uh, thank you. Well, I'll die trying, I'll never give up Even when the odds are down, when no one gives a fuck And even when pigs are flying, hell is frozen up Well, I'll die trying, I'll never give up and I know it's hard to love someone whose head is in the stars, but don't give up, hold on soon, until I've kept my promise and have given you the moon, I will die trying.